Let's play. Darren! Oh, Darren! Yeah, that's me. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who called Tarlin an Apple Store Ritter. Oh, this is your final warning. Because you're in big trouble, and I mean big. Ooh, I think that's a skull and crossbones. Attention, please. Mrs. Ezekiel Collins, perhaps you could be persuaded to take your seat. What makes a hero or heroine? And are you born with these characteristics or are they something you develop? Anyway, that is the question I want you to think about over the weekend. Aww. Prepare an oral report on the hero or heroine of your choice. You'll be working in pairs. <laughs> that I will assign. Aww. Alec, I've paired you with Ryan. Josh, you'll be working with Ezekiel, and Darren with Taralyn. Nice knowing you. He did what? Who are you talking to? Taralyn Davis, exchange student from Ireland. Uh-huh. He should talk. You should see what he looks like in pajamas. Give me the phone. Okay, I'll tell him. Bye. She says she'll meet you at the library tomorrow at 3 o'clock. But don't say one single word to her, because she's not speaking to you. Humph. Worm. Hello, Darren. Terilyn was just telling me about your report on heroes. Of course. What sort of hero are you looking for? Well, maybe a man. A woman. Or a woman who did something famous. Well, Darren, why not start with Joan of Arc? Horses, battles, exciting stuff. That's downstairs. Terilyn, you can look into Harriet Tubman. You'll find her upstairs. But don't forget, the library closes promptly at, we know 5 o'clock, or 1700 hours hours. This is Jenny, the library is now closing. Hey, you. you. Darren, why didn't you tell me what time it was? You got us locked in. Me, why didn't you say what time it was? I'm not your mother, Darren Alexander Nichols, or Pipsqueak, or whatever I call you. I mean, how dumb does a person have to be to get locked in a library? Anyway, I have no time for childish bickering. I have to get out of here. Fine. Fine. And by the way, I'm still not talking to you. And I'm not listening, either. I just remembered something. What? Today is Saturday, which means the library is closed until Monday. Monday. Oh, great. Well, I guess I can live without food. But our families will be worried sick. Maybe not. Wait a minute. I've got it. Are you nuts? How is a book gonna help us? How to escape from prison. How to escape from a desert island. Aha. Uh -huh. How to escape from a library. Hurry up. It's not here. Somebody must have checked it out. Terlin. Who would need a book on escaping from a library, unless they were already in a library exclamation point. Oh. Darren. You were supposed to hold me up. Now my ears are ringing. Mine too. The, the telephone. telephone. Hello. Hello, Miss Karen Joyce. This is Bert Gibson. I didn't have a chance to get to the library today. But, thank goodness you called. I was wondering if you could bring me some books that I need. But, listen, it's me. Terilyn? Sorry, I must have dialed the wrong number. What did you do? How could you let him hang up? Keep your shirt and hoodie jacket on. I'm calling my mother. To dial out, you must enter the correct user code. Please hang up and try again. To dial out. Okay, we're doomed. You are such a wimp. And your bossy know it all. That does it, Darren Alexander Nichols, or Pipsqueak, or whatever your name is. If I have to spend the weekend here, I'm not spending it with you. Fine with me. See if I care. Of course I'm okay. Don't scare me like that. 
I was afraid you were hurt or something. Why were you worried about me? I'm just an Apple Store Aider, remember? What? What about when I got a red and blue heavy jacket? You called me 104 Sydney Street. Wait a minute. You were worried about me. Of course. And how about when my girlfriend and brother couldn't apply for college after my senior year in high school? Darren. You said that I wasn't allowed to, to, what? Want some banana bread? Angela, the white cat who dresses as Queen Elizabeth II on certain occasions, made this recipe from scratch. Where are we, anyway? It must be where the librarians hang out. Hey, let's get locked in here every weekend. This is the best. No chores, no homework, no kitchen. You're in big trouble. Officer Doberman, Sheriff Labrador, arrest him and arrest that Irish girl right there. Darren, Terrellin. Thank goodness, Darren dear. I don't know how this could have happened. Are you all right? We were so worried. They look perfectly fine to me. Oh, sure they were ghosts. But they didn't bother us. Except for the one with no head, right, Terrellin? So who did you do your report on? Report. And so, it is not an exaggeration to say that without Alexander B. Morris, there would be no Chaseville Santa Angela metropolitan area as we know it. Ezekiel, do you have anything to add? No. That brings us to Darren and Terrellin. Um, we really didn't get a chance to do a real report. Because we were too busy learning the real meaning of heroism. When we were locked in the library, it might have been really terrible. And at first it was, because we were fighting and everything. But then Darren came to rescue me, because he thought I was in danger. And Terrellin was really brave and found out where the food was. And she saved me some pizza. That's very good. I think you learned something important. So I'll give you until next weekend to do your report. I hate to say it. But Terrilyn's not so bad. She's a lot of fun. Sorry. Most of the time.